And on that note, let's get right to it. Okay, let's get to our big story because who boy did we get a big response to last night's big story. A lot of bigs. It was on Oregon's vaccine passport policy and one county's mission to declare itself a sanctuary from that policy. Actually, a viewer flagged us on this story as well. Uh, thanks to that viewer. Today, Clackamas County commissioners were set to hear a proposed resolution banning businesses from checking your vaccine status like the state requires. And to make the point, the draft resolution in its text compared vaccine passports to Jim Crow laws, aka decades of government sanctioned, nay, government enforced segregation in the United States. The draft actually called vaccine passports, as you can see in the super at the bottom of your screen, Jim Crow 2.0. So cue the viewer comments. Mickey wrote Jim Crow 2.0 really beyond bizarre. Charlie wrote that kind of far right hyperbole degrades the public discourse. Josh, and we did get some of these, tweeted so proud of Clackamas County. Let's go, Tootie Smith. Let's pass this. Tootie Smith, by the way, is the Clackamas County board chair. And then finally, Patty, we thought, summed up all the feedback nicely. I read this on last night's show, but I want to show it to you again. She wrote to the board. We vote always. Thank you all for writing in. Now, we said last night we had reached out to all the commissioners for any kind of explanation like who wrote this? Who typed out a legal document equating being asked to keep your mask on should you choose not to get the vaccine with legalized, oppressive, violent racism? How in the world did this legal official document get on the board's public agenda? And as of last night, as you saw, we hadn't heard back, but today we got an earful starting with that meeting. It was this morning and in the meeting it was revealed that Commissioner Mark Scholl was the one behind this draft resolution and he flat out doubled down multiple times. So here's some of what he said. There's nothing in there that should be c construed as coming from a racist perspective. In fact, I would submit that the people in this color, in this county of color, would be the most against civil restriction based by a passport, and that they will understand what I'm referring to. The reference to Jim Crow laws has nothing to do with racism. It has to do with the restriction of civil liberties based on a law from a state. It was intended to cause transparency and discussion. That's what I'm here for. I represent the people who elected me, and that's what I'm going to do, irregardless of what the other board members say. I will not be censored. Okay, so that was Mark Scholl, uncensored. And according to County Chair Tootie Smith, no other commissioner saw the draft of that ordinance before Scholl officially introduced it. So Smith and her colleagues each spoke several times saying they were appalled by what is written in that draft. It's obvious that Commissioner Scholl does not understand that comparing a requirement to wear a mask if you are unvaccinated to the destruction and devastation that the Jim Crow laws, what occurred, people could not attend certain places. It led to arrests. If you used a water fountain that wasn't designated, it led to lynchings, it led to death. Making that comparison is incredibly painful, not only for communities of color, but for our entire community decades and decades of people have been hurt um, and have been marginalized and there are certain things that you don't bring up in certain conversations because of those people that have been impacted and in Clackamas County we are an open county to everyone. I'm sorry you do not understand the effect that words have on people. Words mean substance. Now, rightfully so, I agree that passports, excuse me, that passports are not the way to go, and I do not think vaccines should be mandatory. It is still a choice. And I will fight for that right as long as I'm here. 
but I will not tolerate from anybody, including you, sir, the language of this resolution. It will not proceed today. It is dead. So two big takeaways from today's meeting. As you heard, number one, that resolution is dead. It's done. The board made that clear. Number two, you heard Scholl earlier declare that he will not be censored. Well, there's a reason that he said that at that time. In short, as a result of this proposed draft, the board voted today to strip Commissioner Mark Scholl of all of his what's called liaison duties. So what does that mean? Well, in Clackamas County, each commissioner acts as an official kind of board representative working with fellow officials or community groups on different issues, things like housing and homelessness, emergency preparedness, official things, and so on. Uh, commissioner Scholl's assignments included, we're told among others, the fair board and the veterans committee. Not anymore. His fellow commissioners said they basically don't trust him to behave respectfully and essentially not say anything racist while on those jobs. And it's not just because of what happened this week. You might remember back in January, a constituent dug up a bunch of posts from Scholl's Facebook page. The posts were racist and Islamophobic. The entire board and community leaders across Clackamas County called on Scholl to resign. And at that point, he refused. And then on that point, voters even tried to recall him. But here's the thing. Scholl is actually newly elected, and they learned they had to wait six months. More on that in a minute. Even Chair Tootie Smith condemned the post, and this was just a couple of months after she went on Fox News, on Tucker Carlson, and said that being forced to follow COVID protocols equated to being treated as, quote, second-rate slaves. So, yeah, there's a lot of layers to this story. So fast forward to today, and Commissioner uh, Scholl is a focus yet again. And again, his fellow commissioners are blasting him, and one of them, Commissioner Sonia Fisher, agreed to hop on Zoom right after today's meeting and talk to us about this. Let me be very clear. I'm here today to let you know and your viewers know that comments, previous comments like Chair Tudy Smith made comparing mask um, requirements to being a second race slave, or currently Commissioner Scholl comparing vaccine verification to Jim Crow laws do not represent the views of Clackamas County residents. Clackamas County residents are good people. They're welcoming. They value diversity. Is racism a problem on the Clackamas County Board of Commissioners? Yes, I do think that racism is a problem on the board of Clackamas County Commissioners. The brazenness of Commissioner Scholl thinking that he could propose an ordinance that calls for the um, similarity between Jim Crow, which is extreme discrimination against people of color, and the requirement to wear masks if you're not vaccinated, only happens in a world where people are comfortable with extreme politics. Our system is broken and it's really unfortunate. Blunt question. We're checking back in with the recall effort for Commissioner Scholl. Do you support him being recalled? I support the voters of Clackamas County exercising their right to have the representatives that they want. I believe that if the voters would have known the truth about Mark Scholl's racism and bigotry, they would not have elected him. All right, a final note on this piece. We have reached out multiple times, but Commissioner Mark Scholl has not gotten back to us. So, Commissioner, if you're watching, we would love to hear from you. My email is in your inbox. You can reach out that way or just email us directly, our entire team, at the story at KGW.com. We would love to hear from you. But especially because, sir, the people working to recall you, they have gotten back to us. And they say they're working, quote, very hard to make that happen this summer when that six months is up. And their full statement brings us to our quote of the day. Commissioner Scholl's current actions are only making our job easier, end quote. Again, let us know what you think about this story. Reach out using that hashtag, HeyDan.